hey y'all welcome back to simple cook eats and family vlogs today i'm helping my cousin he owns his own um blinds installation company and i'm helping him today at this new place and um this place is actually three stories so we are working on the third story today <laughs> so we was up and down them stairs all day as you can see a little sweated out but right now I'm in the basement grabbing some more supplies, the respective uh, measurements of blinds that I need. And yeah, join me. Pretty sure it's censored lights though. They're not Okay, they are. Oh goodness, thank goodness. Because when I was going to the basement on the other side, it was, uh, the lights were off. Like, all the way off at the bottom. And it's a little bit scary. So I'm glad these lights are on. These are some of the extras, extra blinds we had for this phase. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick them into a room where it has its respective window. Oh, yeah. Fucking, so right here. Can you see your brother? Oh, that face. Oh. Come. Oh, I like you. Hey. <laughs> so beautiful. He's gonna bite me. So awesome. The next day, I decided to make some fish and rice, and then I also warmed up a slice of French bread with butter. 
Hey guys, welcome to Simple Cook Eats. Today, okay, after church, I got really hungry and decided to make some fish and made some bread with it, fish and rice. But I'm gonna go ahead and say prayer. My oh, dear gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for this food and for a good Sunday at church. I ask you to please bless the food, bless the, I'll use the things I learned today in my daily life and say these things in the name of Christ, amen. Today is Sunday. I went to church today at YSA Ward. It was really good. Mm. Mm. I'm just about to drink. You already know what I'm about to get. Today in church, we talked about the power of prayer and how God knows us individually and loves us. Mmm, it's really good. Mm. Y'all know what show I just finished binging? It's the Loki series on Disney Plus. It's so good. Like, at first I was like, um, Loki has a show. I wasn't really that attracted to it, but my little sister Lathai was like, bro, you need to watch it. It's really good. And I watched it, mind blowing, bro. I was watching while I was at, at school, like during my breaks and stuff, and I'd be like, like, there'll be times that I would actually like out loud be like, what the heck, or like, oh my God. It's a crazy show, y'all need to watch. And admit, I'm a new Loki fan, like. I was trying to look for like other shows because that's a show that's like kind of like a mind show kind of it's also just like really interesting but it's like things will happen that later on it's going to show like how it all connects and then you know how inside Avengers they have like multiverse where they like travel through the universes but this one is more so traveling through time it's for you which it gets confusing sometimes or maybe i'm just slow but yeah you gotta pay attention 
I really liked it. I can't wait till they come out with a new season. I've seen that it just came out. The season, it only has two seasons. And I was on TikTok, like, watching <laughs> stuff about it. But I think it, the last season came out last December or, like, November. So I'm pretty sure the next season will be this year. Which I'm glad because I hate whenever I watch a new show. And then, well, it kind of did just come out, but I'm still gonna have to wait. But I hate whenever I watch a new show and then, like, I binge it and then I just have to stop. And now I have to wait till the next season. Yeah. A bit salty. But the Loki show, like, it's so tough, like, I don't know, y'all need to watch it. I don't know why it hasn't been, like, a topic of discussion as, like, like, it is, but I feel like only with the Marvel people, but it's a really good show. I was surprised, like, how good it was, because I never hear about it. And now I'm trying to find like another Marvel series that I can watch. <laughs> but I don't know if anything's gonna top that. And things that you think like, you know how Avengers is kind of, um, it's kind of predictable. Okay, the end game Avengers was crazy about it. Like some of it's kind of predictable, but and Loki, it's like totally like just chaotic and awesomeness. Mm -mm -mm. I tried, like, I literally just barely tried watching WandaVision. Mmm, y'all. There's a part inside the Loki series that's so cool. Oh, yeah. This is what I was, like, about to start watching. Because I tried to watch WandaVision, the series. But it's, like, maybe I just have to get past the first episode. But I could not watch the first episode. It was, like, kind of annoying to watch. But this is the series that I was trying to start right now. It's called What If. But I wanna watch the trailer. This kid puts on quite a show. I have eyes on the target. He does not look all that threatening. Looks can be deceiving, your highness. Are you sure you do not want any backup? Ah, I'm great with kids. You thought the story was over. But it was only just beginning. I don't do sequels. Some dog. 
Wait, it said nine what begins? Whoa, is that Mulan? Nine episode event? What is? No, no, no. Oh, this is like Darcy, we got a code red. The Avengers Tower's been overtaken. On Christmas? What is this, Con Air? No, wait, under siege? No, no, no. Oh, that's not it. Hey, John McClane, focus. You cannot make this. What the heck? Okay, like, it looks good, but like, the ending thing was kind of like. I mean, it actually does look good. But it's like, I don't know what it is really about. Like, the first episode is what if Captain Carter were the first Avenger? When Steve Rogers is seriously injured, Peggy Carter becomes the world's first super soldier. And then the second one is what if T'Challa became a Star Lord? The rough and tumble space pirates known as the Rav Ravagers abduct T'Challa instead of Peter Quill. Ooh. What if the world lost its mightiest heroes? Nick Fury struggles to launch the Avengers when candidates are targeted by a serial killer. What if Doctor Strange lost his heart instead of his hands? A grief-stricken Doctor Strange uses the Eye of Agamotto in a dangerous effort to change the past. What if zombies? Sorry, I'm just reading it out because I, I haven't gone through this, but like, you know, I've been looking for a new one. What if Killmonger... Oh, what if zombies? When the Avengers are infected by a zombie plague, surviving heroes search for a cure. Oh, nah. It shows Tony Stark as a zombie. I don't know. Just get rid of the suit and he's done for. But, okay, six. What if Killmonger rescued Tony Stark? Tony Stark. What the heck? An American soldier called Killmonger rescues Tony Stark when his Humvee is attacked in Afghanistan. And the next one is, what if Thor were an only child? Thor, who never learned to be a good hero, throws an out of control intergalactic party on Earth. And then the next one, what if Ultron won? Natasha Ramanoff and Clint Barton seek to destroy Killer Bot. Ultron following a catalysmatic, catalyst, cataclysmic, catas, cataclysmic event. You know, they always use that word. And Loki, they were using that word a lot too. I was like, of all word, cataclysmic. And then the last one is, what if the Watcher broke his oath? What if the Watcher broke his oath? That would be kind of bad. Man. That's like kind of cool, but there's only... Season. Oh, there's two seasons. What if Nebula joined the Nova Corps? Yo, that would be tight. What if Peter Quill attacked Earth's mightiest heroes? I'm not going to read them all, but like, only the cool ones. What if Kahori reshaped the world? That's who I seen inside the trailer that I was wondering who she was, that girl. What if Hila found the Ten Rings? Okay, I don't know who she is. What if the Avengers assembled in 1602? Captain Carter tries to undo the anomaly that strands familiar heroes and villains in the year 1602. Let me 
kids. Oh, I didn't know Captain Carter was a girl. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna watch that. Just cause I like, I be getting into it. So like, I don't know, that's just not really enough for me. I wanna watch, I don't know, but I think after watching Loki, it's just like nothing compares, nothing compares. Y'all know when y'all watch that TV show and it's like, it's not giving that TV show, but like his character development is just so, if y'all are not that into like Avengers, then you probably won't like it, but I freaking love Avengers. Mm, does it have a Hulk one? Um, no. She-Hulk? The other thing I liked about Loki, it was like a good, a good balance of like humor and also like seriousness. But I feel like a lot of these just seem so like, I don't know, some of them be giving DC vibes. I like Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is good. I wish they had a series. Oh, I was about to say, do they? They don't. Quantum Mania. I might watch um, Ant Man again because that it was like kind of. That kind of goes into like the most what is it the quantum quantum mania mania quantum realm like i like that stuff oh i wonder have any of y'all seen moon knight if y'all okay y'all drop some suggestions like nobody be commenting but like, it would be like, I watch your mom's show. I watch your mom's YouTube channel. But now y'all be giving feedback in the comments. I still appreciate the view. I was like, come on. Talk to me. I feel like I'm talking to myself. But um, Moon Knight, I heard about that. Secret Invasion. Nick Fury learns of a clandestine invasion on Earth by a faction of shape-shifting scrolls. The other thing I like about Loki is like, I like the humor in there. It's like kind of, I don't really know how to explain it. I like the humor in there, like. The satire and stuff, wait, I need more rice. Something I've really been craving is the rice with mango with, I think it's condensed milk or I don't really know what it is. It's like a clearish, whitish substance, but like they usually be get, um, they usually have it at Thai restaurants as a dessert. It's so good. That's what I really want right now looking at this rice. I'm going to try to make that, but... I need to find a TV show to watch. A good one. Hawkeye? I'm not getting, I might watch that. Miss Marvel? Bro. Let me show y'all a scene from Loki that was so freaking cool. I sound like I'm not. I sound like one of those people who are obsessed. But so. bro, why did I look up Loki show and it showed me a cat? Like multiple videos of cats. Like that is disgusting. Loki 
season two. <laughs> Oh my gosh, wait, 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 I can't show y'all too much because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. How are you going to simultaneously do one of the best things you've ever done and one of the worst things you've ever done? Yeah, I don't know about her. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm just... I don't know, I don't know. I wasn't really that into Marvel. Like, what's her name? Captain Marvel. Y'all, oh my gosh. Y'all have to. Oh. Loki. I'm gonna show y'all one scene that's like hella tight. But like, I don't wanna play too much of it for y'all. Like it's spoiled. Y'all better go watch because I'm literally going out my way to not spoil it. And there's so many edits of Loki, like, <laughs> it's so funny. Like, there's so many of these edits. Like cap cuts, <laughs> like the fanfic people are just. Oh, here it is! Here it is! Here it is! It's just tight, like, because, you know, like, we don't really get to see a lot of, like, Loki and what his capabilities are if we don't read, like, if we aren't watching the, um, I mean, reading the comics or whatever. But, oh my gosh, it's so cool. I'm going to put some poison sauce for my last ones. I know I've been yapping, but it's because I was going to change the subject. Sub subject about loki but i was like nah i gotta i gotta really drill it into y'all to go watch that because it's so freaking good After this, I'm gonna go take me a good old Sunday nap. Oh yeah, I cut my sister's hair. Um, on Friday, so like three days ago. It was super long, but, and I don't want people to think that I'm over here just chopping everybody's hair off. You know, like, everybody that's coming to me, they're choosing their length. So. And then I'm cutting hair again tomorrow. And then after this week, we finally get hybrid schedule. So I'll, like, do half of my day over there and then the rest of my hours, three extra hours, it's going to be done, you know, whatever. And I cannot wait because I've been spending 13 hours at school from 8.30 to 9.30. Like, yeah, just to make up hours. So it's kind of my fault. But dang, I can't believe like, I can't do anything else. I got, I'm really glad they're creating the system where you can make up hours online because too much, too much, too much. So instead of like learning, because right now we have a class, like we learn everything over there. We go through the chapter and everything. But now it's kind of like a downfall, but it's kind of nice. But now 
we'll get to do it online from the comfort of wherever we want to be, the comfort of our home, the park, anywhere. But the only thing is you have to do it by yourself, which I don't really have a problem with, but yeah, I just feel bad for some of those other people because I know there's some people that need like a walkthrough to learn. Okay, now I'm sleeping. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. If y'all actually sat through my little Avengers uh, event, then thank you. If not, thank you for however long you did stay, but appreciate y'all for joining me today. And I hope y'all actually go and watch Logie because it's hella good. And yeah, have a blessed Sunday. Bye, y'all.